Hey guys, it's Leah B from Prestige Veteran Medical Consulting. I'm a U.S. Army veteran, physician assistant, and former compensation and pension examiner. Today, I wanted to come on and discuss bruxism and VA disability and how that can relate to PTSD and other mental health conditions. So I've done a few videos in the past on TMJ, and it's a, it's it's also a condition that happens with your teeth and your oral cavity, but it's not the same as bruxism. And so a lot of veterans can kind of conflate these issues and get them a little bit confused. Whereas TMJ actually deals with the temporal mandibular joint itself, which is a hinge joint in the jaw. Bruxism actually deals with the teeth and grinding of the teeth. And that can be a conscious or an unconscious thing that people do. And so it can be you know, just at nighttime, it can be during the day, it can be related to stress, it can be related, related to previous oral trauma. I unfortunately suffer from both TMJ and bruxism, which is terrible, which really stinks. It's part of the reason why I'm in braces right now is um, hopefully we're going to be able to correct some of those bite issues. But at any rate, hopefully I'll be getting out of them soon. But getting off my issues, let's talk about bruxism, right? So bruxism, uh, according to the Mayo Clinic, which I have pulled up here, is a condition in which, like I said, you grind or clench or gnash your teeth. If you have bruxism, you may um, unconsciously clench your teeth when you're awake, which is awake bruxism, or you can clench or grind your teeth during sleep, which is sleep bruxism. Sleep bruxism is considered a sleep-related movement disorder. People who clench or grind their teeth during sleep are more likely to have other sleep disorders, such as snoring and pauses in breathing, like sleep apnea. Mild bruxism may not require treatment. However, in some people, bruxism can be frequent and severe enough to lead to jaw disorders, headaches, damaged teeth, and other problems. Because you may have sleep bruxism and be unaware of it until complications develop, it's important to know signs and symptoms. So some of those signs and symptoms, like I said, is you may consciously be aware that you're grinding your teeth all the time or clenching your jaw. A lot of people can get tension headaches related to that. Um, your teeth can get flattened out, fractured, chipped, um, loose. Worn tooth enamel, exposing deeper layers of your tooth, increased tooth pain or sensitivity, tired jaw muscles, or um, a locked jaw that won't open or close completely, jaw and neck or face pain or soreness, pain that feels like an earache, dull headache. Um, there, there's a ton of stuff. Damage from chewing on the inside of your cheek. So that's bruxism. It's treated, it can be treated by your primary care doctor, your dentist, a combination of them. Um, you know, many licensed healthcare providers. Risk factors include stress, which we're going to talk about. So increased anxiety or stress can lead to teeth grinding. So it can anger and frustration, age. So it can, it's common among young children, but it, and it, this, the Mayo Clinic says it usually goes away by adulthood. Personality type, personality type that's aggressive, competitive, or hyperactive can increase your risk of bruxism. Some medications and substances so also it says here, smoking tobacco, drinking caffeinated beverages of alcohol, like alcohol um, or alcohol rather, fam family history. Okay. So that's bruxism in a nutshell. So let's talk about some of those good research articles that I use to discuss the relationship between bruxism and mental health conditions. Hopefully these will be helpful for you to kind of read up about the relationship, perhaps approach your treating doctor about it or your dentist and see what their thoughts are. Um, they may assist you with a medical opinion letter or a short statement in your notes to help you. So a disclaimer that I always throw out is I'm not an accredited claims agent or a BSO or an accredited attorney. I don't assist veterans with filing claims or anything like that, but sometimes I do assist with medical opinion letters to discuss the relationship between a specific condition and a, uh, you know, in the veteran's service or their service connected disabilities. Okay. So let me pull up some of these articles. So Bruxism, a literature review published in 2011, uh, states that Bruxism is a movement disorder characterized by grinding and clenching of teeth. Um, awake Bruxism is found more in females as compared to males. Etiology of Bruxism can be divided into three groups. Psychosocial factors, peripheral factors, and pathophysiological factors. Treatment modalities involve occlusal correction, behavior, behavioral changes, and sometimes a pharmacologic approach. Another article, is there an association between stress and bruxism, a systematic review and meta-analysis published in the Frontiers in Neurology in 2020. 
looks at the association between stress and bruxism. They found a significant association between patients experiencing bruxism that had stress, especially in emotional disorders. A study titled Teeth Grinding is Emotional Stability Related to Bruxism. Studies how stressors and mood disorders affect and contribute to bruxism. In this study, we examined what there are two traits related to neuroticism, emotional stability, and objectivity were associated with self-reported and physical evidence of teeth grinding. Goes on and on and discusses the findings. Psychosocial Predictors of Bruxism, published in 2019. Evaluation of the Relationship Between Anxiety, Depression, and Bruxism, published in the Journal of International Medical Research in 2009. So this is really an overview of how it can relate to stress disorder. So PTSD, depression, anxiety, any of those conditions can, um, you know, be related. And some of this literature can be helpful. Again, it's important to note that there is a difference between TMJ and bruxism, that there can often be overlap of um, a patient can suffer from both, like I said, and mental health condi conditions can contribute or exacerbate but, you know, it can be bidirectional and cause it increased stress if you've got bruxism and the stress can increase the bruxism. So I hope this was helpful. I've got a video about um, TMJ CMP exams, that DBQ. Um, I'm not, I don't recall 100% if that one has bruxism on it or not, but check out that TMJ CMP exam video and there may be some nuggets there for you guys to check out about bruxism as well. Please drop some comments if you have any questions and I'd be happy to try to answer them. Thank you for watching as always and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Please, oh, please like and subscribe and check us out every Monday. All right, see you later.